Thank God people are finally starting to talk about hormone replacement therapy in a positive light. The recent release and retraction of the black box warning is huge. But one of the topics that is misunderstood is when is it too late for hormone replacement therapy? There is a misguided generalized statement out there that if you're 10 years past menopause, you're too late. What do the studies actually show? The best, highest benefit is when you start hormone replacement therapy right at the start or even right before in the very late stages of perimenopause. But here's the thing, ladies. There's a lot of you out there who when you were going through this phase of early menopause, your doctor would not prescribe hormones because they were guided by the black box warning that hormones are dangerous and you better not take them. Now that we know the benefits, why should you be penalized because your doctor doctor didn't know the right answers back then. If you're 10 years past menopause, you don't get the same benefit. But what about risks? If you start it late in menopause, can it increase your risk of heart attack? Well, here's where it gets a little tricky because one of the things is the older you are, the more likely you already have heart disease, then estrogen cannot prevent it because you already have it. Moreover, the concern is if you already have some sort of plaque in your vessels, and we know that estrogen makes your vessels more more elastic, the increase in elasticity could cause it to dislodge and become a clot. Well, that would be serious and that would be a risk for heart attack. But we know that estrogen doesn't cause heart disease. The question is if you have pre-existing heart disease, could it make it worse initially by potentially dislodging a clot? Let me be more specific with that statement. Transdermal non-oral estrogen does not cause heart disease. There's a huge difference between taking estrogen orally and using a cream or a patch or a pellet, something that bypasses the digestive system. Estrogen taken orally really gets mutilated by your liver because there's something called the first pass effect. There's a vein that goes straight to the liver and before it gets distributed to your body, the estrogen gets processed by the liver and it's that processing that increases inflammatory chemicals and it's those inflammatory chemicals that increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. That's why birth control pills increase the risk of heart attack and stroke because it's oral estrogen. Even bioidentical oral estrogen, I don't like. It needs to be transdermal. Your ovaries did not release estrogen to your gut. They released it to your bloodstream and then it would get distributed throughout your body and utilized and disposed of and not the whole contents going straight to the liver. So that's a very important concept. When we look at the benefits of estrogen, heart disease prevention, if started early enough, is huge. But what about the other benefits? What about brain? What about memory? If you've already lost some and your brain has shrunk a little bit from hormone deficiencies, might not get it all back, but it certainly can prevent more loss. There are definite studies that show women who take hormone replacement have a lower risk of dementia. I don't wanna outlive my brain. I don't think you do either. You tell me when you don't need your brain anymore and I'll tell you when you don't need hormones. So it's really for that reason that I think that even if you're past the ideal window, even if you're at the 10 year mark or later, have an honest discussion. You are not a number. You know, there are 60 year olds that feel like 50 year olds and there's 50 year olds that feel like 80 year olds. Why don't we figure out what's going on there, see what we can do to correct it, and then use hormones to keep things balanced and optimized. But don't treat yourself like a number. And I don't want you to be penalized just because your doctor wasn't aware of all the studies that have been out there for a long time about the benefits of hormones. They were just following an algorithm created by a committee that said, oh, you shouldn't take hormones 10 years past menopause. Pause. I call BS. You are not a number. You are an individual. You deserve a healthy brain. You deserve intimacy. Estrogen helps with preventing genitourinary syndrome of menopause with vaginal dryness and pain with intimacy, urinary leakage, bladder infections. Might need topical estrogen down there in order to get the most benefit from that. It's still important to consider. Bottom line is there is not a number where you say you're too late for hormones. Have the conversation. You're an individual you're not a number. If your doctor knows what they're doing, they may want to do some cardiac screening with some 
tests besides just a lipid panel to understand your risk of pre-existing cardiovascular disease. And if you have signs of that, you may want to get that under control before you start estrogen just because of that theoretic risk. You certainly don't want to precipitate an event if you have underlying disease. You deserve to be your best and hormones can help you with that. So don't take that you're too old right off the bat just based on a number. Have the conversation with someone who understands. If you have found this helpful, please forward it to a woman in your life that needs to hear it. Have a great day.